All right, I just wanted to hop in real quick just to let you guys know what's going on. Every time you see my LED flash, that is not my electricity. That is Parker's electricity. That is his transmission from Texas. I'm in Illinois. We're about 2,000 miles away. I'm not connected to anything. The only thing I'm connected to is the earth ground. Yep, there's the flicker. See that flicker? Yep, there he goes. See it? I'm not doing anything. That's Parker's transmission. Hell yeah. 2,000 miles away. Wireless electricity. Oh my god. Holy shit. Yep, there it goes. Ha ha! What's a wire, bro? See how it keeps flickering? Yeah, I'm seeing that for sure. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, though. I know it's really, like, profound where I'm at. Mm-hmm. There you go. There's that earth energy. I can feel it vibrating through my skin right now. Oh, man, it feels good. I love earth energy. Whew. This is like when Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. <laughs> All right. So we just got electricity 2,000 miles away from Texas. I am in the Chicago suburbs. We're about 2,000 miles away. This is really exciting. But um, I'm an electrical engineer or I'm about to be, I'm about to graduate, but I've been studying Tesla, Tesla's research and what he's been doing for a long time. And basically what we're doing here is we're taking advantage of, of something that no one else is doing. So Tesla's original devices were taking advantage of these longitudinal waves. Our normal electromagnetic wave is a transverse wave. So if you look at a coil, there's actually two types of waves going on. So going up the axis, so go, the ones that are going around the coil, right, that are actually following the direction of the coil are the transverse waves. And that's what's used right now for Hertzian waves and regular electromagnetics. Tesla did not intend his devices to do that. Marconi ripped him off and stole it. And they, they redid his device because they thought that's what he was trying to say. But he wasn't trying to say that. He's trying to say that he wants to use the waves that are traveling, you know, parallel to the coil. He found that these waves actually move at pi over two times the speed of light. So this is going to be too long to um, make a video on this, but if you, if you want to see a mathematical analysis of Parker's magnifying transmitter and the waves that go through it and how it all works through the ground, please subscribe and I'll be comparing, you know, the differences. I'll like put a side by side LED of the longitudinal light versus a regular light. There's a lot of good stuff you don't want to miss out on here. Check me out. St. Nicholas.